I think it was last or week. Or last week. So. Be a little bit over. I, like I, a, uh, I within the last started. two weeks. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah, this is a. I kind of figured. Uh, Yoshi. Yoshi Pathman going into PS2. This is going to be a long set. It's going to be a very long set. <laughs> um, I would not be surprised if one, if not multiple games, went to time. Both of these players are very confident and playing patient. They have a great mentality. They do. Yeah. They th they know. They know, and they're both they're both character specialists. So like, they don't really. Dorf has another character and a half, but like, he's a Pac-Man player. He knows yeah. what he's doing. Same same as for Yoshi. Hey, he, Dan will, if I ever see Dan play another character in Bracket, I will pay someone money. <laughs> I, I, I will say, there is a major VOD out there where, for a crew, or was it Smash? Squad Strike. Squad Strike, that he's a cloud main. <laughs> that is true, and he also did it in the double dittos. <laughs> so, I, I will say, there's a little bit of... Like some rep around his cloud, but but yeah, like the fact that he was getting like actual confirms blindfolded with Yoshi, like shows just how well he knows his character. Yeah, it was a crazy showing of Puppet Master yesterday. He he said at one point he knew where people were just from the sound yeah, of like hitting them. <laughs> so you got about one fifty on this pack, man. About hundred on Yoshi. Both that players are kill. Kill. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Wow. That's a stock on that platform. Great first stock by Dwarf. We'll see how Dan kind of approaches this. Woo. Still needs to kind of hold some of his patience, or he's going to take a lot of percent. Yeah, that Galaga got him some extra credit, but Dan was able to get the reversal. Now we'll see how both these players kind of reset. Uh, Even percents. Pretty evil. Uh, yeah, I'm surprised I didn't bring Hydra. <laughs> yeah. I'm not too familiar on exactly how much percent is needed to break Hydrant. Um, I don't know exactly either, but I know if Pac-Man back air hits it, like anything that hits it and has knockback will break it after that. Uh, okay, so probably around like maybe 20%, 25%. Mm, give or take, yeah. Yeah, then to kind of be careful with his egg yeah. throws. Oh, I thought he was going to hit him with that bell right there on the re-grab. One thing Dan has to do in this matchup is definitely respect uh, Pac-Man frame data. Yes, Pac-Man frame data is like scary good for no reason. Nair and Fair can definitely just kind of uh, bust out anything he mm. wants to start. Yeah, Nair comes out frame three, so like out of shield, it's like a fantastic option, and you can't really contest it. Dorf's doing a great job of keeping this hydrant center stage. He is. He's, a, he's controlling the stage very well. Just kind of that presence. Mm. Good DI coming out front of the next down. Kind of same situation. Uh, it's this barrage of, of Hydrant and Key, <laughs> which uh, <laughs> so in Tulsa we. Holy cow, that was a great reversal by Dan. Uh, yeah, Yoshi's got the fastest airspeed in the game, and Dan's pretty familiar with using it to track his opponents in the air. Mm -hmm. We'll see if. I assume Dan's going to want to kind of slow down, try to get some extra cut in. Be a little bit more careful. Yeah, and he doesn't really get anything. That bell left smash, like that kill so early. All of Pac-Man's kills have been off that bell. It has. It's it's Dorf's favorite. We we joke about how uh, his only combos are bell into F smash and bell into up smash. <laughs> Which is a valid statement. It it is. <laughs> it it works very well. So like, there's nothing wrong with going for it. <laughs> get some reads coming out. We're some muscle. Yeah, we see hydrant. Yeah, I don't not know. Not in the best position, so Dan can kind of play around it for a little bit. Yeah, I think he was trying to get it just off the platform, but kind of misplaced it a little. Yeah. But even again, like, this is going to be a very good, very long set. Yeah, Dan's now got to be careful with that bell on deck. Yep. Dan, uh, uh, Dorf burning it pretty early. Now we got oh, Mango wow. into the combo. Pac-Man's recovery is so good, though, it doesn't make a ton of difference. <laughs> And then Doris able to just get stage back. <laughs> that bell, like, the stun from it, like, lingers so long. I think if Dan would have uh, jumped there a little bit earlier, he would actually have the bell right now. I think so, too. Gotta love that little animation of him being stunned mid grab. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, it's, it really is only the bell I'm seeing. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> like, holy... <laughs> 
I think he had the one Galaga combo earlier, and other than that, it's just been Bell and, like, Key. <laughs> yeah, Dan's kind of be a little bit careful. Most of the fruits, especially Apple, will kill them mm -hmm. right now. And there's the Apple on deck. Usually Dwarf goes for more fruit play, like, off stage, but I'm not really, I haven't really seen him, like, get, like, put Dan in that position hardly at all this mm -hmm. game. Um, a lot of times he'll get people off stage and go for, like, Apple or something to catch people recovering. Yeah, I see that Dan's trying to kind of, like, fish for that drive down back here. I'm surprised Dwarf didn't get that grab there. I don't know if it was just nerves or what. I do notice that Dwarf doesn't do a lot of, like, like Hydra fruit plays. He, d he does the water. He, he kind of just... Ooh. Dan with the quick tracking that. Got it up there. <laughs> up there to close up the game one. He was at 150 with mm -hmm. about six, six minutes on the clock. Yeah. Long set. That was a long game one. We might be in in for four more of those, so. <laughs> We're done. You were not in studio mode. <laughs> I forgot how OBS worked for a second. Right. Game two. Back to PS2. You know. Just a classic, especially in the Smash community. Yeah. Uh, most players generally don't strike stages, so this is kind yeah. of a common middle ground. It, it is. Maybe later in the bracket, a lot of times people will, but like most people are just com so comfortable on PS2, it doesn't matter. I think not a whole lot out of that Galga. Dan's already gone two egg lays this set, mm -hmm. or this match. Um, there was a match with him and Garth that he got. If we could, Someone went back and counted. I think it was 27 egg plays that That's whole set. Dang. <laughs> yeah, Dan knows how to use his, use the eggs. Uh, and there's Dwarf going for the key behind the hydrant. Uh, we call that. Uh, there's one game he played against Phoenix, I believe, where all he did to win the set was just hydrant and key and stand on the other side. And just uh, Phoenix didn't know what to do, so... We joke about that whenever he starts doing that. <laughs> the, these type of matchups are just definitely a, a war of attrition. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta have like a rock solid mindset. Yeah, and I don't know how well either of these two really know the other character because I don't think Dan or him have like each other's character much match yeah, experience. Yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar with their current set count. Yeah. A good cross up on Dan still falling yep. into the bell, but not missed the punish. Coming out of yeah. It. Let's see how much Dan can kind of capitalize on this second stock. Yeah, but if he gets something off this bell, he can just even it up. Z drop didn't get anything, but it was good coverage. Yeah, Yoshi, Yoshi's double jump armor. He definitely saved Dan a time or two. Ju yeah. Oh, Mango's going straight through yep. the egg. Gotta love it. And just an S smash just pretty much evens it up right there. Very raw option. <laughs> Hey man, whatever yeah, whatever works honestly, works. <laughs> fair. Dan playing a lot of pressure, kind of just mm -hmm. chasing Dorf down. He is, and it's definitely an uncomfortable situation if you don't have the frame data to, to contest Yoshi, mm -hmm. and your options aren't fast enough to kind of get out of out of the way of that air drift. Yeah, it, it it's I, tough for sure. I have seen him up air someone four times and just kill him for it. Hey, that happens. Playing Fox, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> Do hate to see it. It's, okay. it's a pretty even game. Uh, yeah. Dwarf managed to get the percent lead, even though Dan, this stock, has kind of been in control. Dan, most likely input. Yeah. Misinputting egg roll and yep. kind of led to us the uh, loss of the second stock. Going for the two frame of spare. Mm -hmm. It's a really good option. It is. It, it's a big hitbox, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pretty safe too. I heard him talking to, to Dopamine earlier about it, and it seems like it's pretty safe. Mm -hmm. Just kind of reset, just kind of yeah. playing around Hydra. That's like the main, like the whole point of this set is just figuring it's out just, how to. Yeah, who, who can control stage and who can make the best use out of Hydra. Bell coming out, kind of just blocking out. Oh, oh my. that was good. Holy, that was good coverage. 
There we go. Yep. I was talking Dance. about that earlier. Just that narrow shield can just catch it. Mm -hmm. Not sure that's what was supposed to happen, but it works. <laughs> kind of reset neutral. Nice quick escape option from mm -hmm. door. Just yeah, kind of be careful. He's getting a lot of extra credit here. He he really is. Oh, Dan looking to punish. You hate to see it. Didn't capitalize on it. But he, he finally did. That, water, <laughs> that back air. That, uh, the that water way. shenanigans. Those can be pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, water went straight through Dorf when he was mm -hmm. stunned. Oh, getting a combo. Can Dan start to bring it back? So a quick 50%. Can I start matching mm -hmm. that 120 we're seeing? He drops oh. key. Most likely we're gonna see key or the bell coming out, the tried and true. The tried and true. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Oof, that hydrant was kinda scary. <laughs> Don't get hit by it. Yeah. There we go. Just kinda reset things. Apple is like deceptively scary. <laughs> it sends you straight up. It's straight up and it goes at a like downward angle, so it's good for ledge trapping. Like you have to be ready for it. Mm -hmm. For this oh, yep. and that's it. And that's game two. That was some good ad adaptation by Dwarf. Yeah, platforms yeah. are a huge deal in this matchup. Yeah. They're nice because Dwarf can kind of center the Hydra in like mid stage and kind of force people to be up there mm -hmm. if they don't want to have to play around Hydra. And getting control of the stage like that just allows him to charge fruit and get whatever setup he wants, really. Yeah, Pac-Man's very demanding. Mm -hmm. They start a game three, just... That's kind of a Yoshi double jump there. armor right there. That up throw up there is pretty true on Pac-Man. <laughs> a nice quick 50% combo. God dang. <laughs> Yoshi's down there doing, what, 30, 33%? Yeah. yeah, if you get all the hits. And then getting any more with the hydrant. Both players kind of like picking up the pace. But mm -hmm. They're not playing as patient as they were. They're being pretty aggressive. And Dan kind of figuring out how to use hydrant to his advantage this game. Yeah, Dorf's been hit by that uh, two or three times already. Which accounts for about 60%. Mm -hmm. Curious to see how. Dwarf is going to kind of adapt and slow down. Mm -hmm. Or just change up his playstyle in general to yeah. account for this. He's starting to go for more early fruits and just kind of, just to get something out there to try and hit Dan. Yeah, Dan, seems like Dan's momentum is still all the way building. Mm -hmm. Like, playing it, a bit more confidently around all the fruits. Yeah, and around the fruit and the hydrant, like, it was a great adaptation from last game, picking everything up. Great. And then, Punish, noticing that Dorf hasn't been pressing a button out of that hydrant. Usually Dorf is known to just kind of fall with that dare, but he's been, been playing pretty yeah. patient. Ooh, using the water Those to reads. stay right next <laughs> Dan is playing fantastic this game. Definitely a different showing from yeah, uh, game he, two. Yeah, he picked up the pace, he's kind of just in control. like. That's a crazy setup with the hydrant. Mm -hmm. Straight in the middle, he knocks it to cover platform and yeah. he holds center stage for you. Oh my god. What a confirm off the <laughs> hydrant. <laughs> oh man, Dorf really needs to make some adaptations if he wants to keep this close. We don't want to see this for the next couple games. So Dan kind of getting back to stage, he's holding these platforms. Mm -hmm. He has time to just kind of slow down. Yeah. Take a breath. He's got five minutes. He does. <laughs> and Dan, I, Dan will use those five minutes. <laughs> our, our friendly matches take six minutes. <laughs> so we're not even trying to count. Well. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing camp, on the line. <laughs> camp, not a pro. It's a fine gray, yeah. gray area. Yeah, 150 on Yoshi. Yoshi's yeah. a pretty heavy character to get rid of. Y Yoshi's heavy for no reason. Dan, Dan's kind of got the adjustment of right when that high, or the bell hits him, he can just jump near it. Yep. 
Dorf cannot find a kill on this first stock. Which was kind of what helped him a lot last game, was getting that first stock pretty early and just kind of maintaining. Ooh. I think the water just saved Dorf there. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a crazy conversion. Yeah. From down. And then just the F smash catching the roll. And it's so cool that Hydrant push actually helped him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hydrant giveth and Hydrant to take away. <laughs> Uh, that was some great adaptation from Dan from 2 to 3. Let's see if Dorf can do the same. Wonder if we're, well, I'm, we're most likely going to see a stage difference, yeah. Yeah, I'm curious to see if Dorf will go Greninja just for just to see. Just to kind of feel out the matchup. Yep, and there yeah. he goes. Yep, called it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure how this matchup goes. I don't know I, how often these two players have played against each other. I, outside of this weekend, I have no idea. And I, I don't even know if they've played much this weekend while here. Oh, that's, yeah. uh, this will be a different showing. Yeah. Um, I wonder how Dan will kind of make the adjustment. Mm -hmm. The Greninja is definitely a more in-your-face type of character. Yeah. You can't have to make an adjustment to the face. Oh, he's solid getting, 52. Getting, yeah, getting some oh, solid combos. Yeah. But Greninja can rack up damage early with some up air strings. Dan's gonna have a, a little bit easier of a time to actually <coughs> kind of ledge drop this character. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't he have to worry about fruit, doesn't have to worry about Hydrant. And he doesn't have to kind of worry about that side B armor yeah. from Batman. And like I said, Dorf able to bring it back and even take a percent lead. Dorf's Greninja is really making a showing, mm -hmm. kind of putting up that Yoshi at kill percent. It, it's kind of interesting seeing a guy like Dorf who plays a very slow and methodical character like Pac-Man also play a faster paced character like Greninja and play them well. And he does... Yeah, it's, oh. <laughs> it's a huge shift in like uh, mentality and how you like approach mm -hmm. the game. Yeah, like even if his Greninja is not as good, it just messes, like it catches the opponent off guard with a switch like that. That, that double, double jump, jump armor. Oh just saving like, him. And then the... Dan was dead and just jumped through it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and a little bit of confusion with the, the tech read. Mm -hmm. I assume we're going to see a, like a drag down back air, just a raw air coming out from Yoshi. Yeah. I, yeah if he can get near out of shield, he can probably kill. And then four and throw. You don't see a Greninja I throw kill very often. I don't think I've ever seen that, I've to be honest. Not forward throw, no. I've seen up air at like 180, and that's about it. I have seen, okay, I have seen up throw, but never forward throw. Yeah. Are the, uh, Maybe questionable DI from Dan's part. Yeah, are, the side, are the side blasts some smaller on? Oh, that yeah. is true. I, I think it was both. Okay. Definitely makes sense for the, mm -hmm. the throw. So 159 sitting on this Greninja. Yeah, Dorf Dan's getting some good extra credit. Yeah, Dan's just and looking then, for oh. a, a kill. Just slightly missed the kill confirm mm -hmm. right there. And then, oh, oh they both kind of whiffed. Oh and then God. Dorf took advantage. <laughs> the come, like, the we're just seeing these both these players just make adaptation after adaptation in between games. Like, like we said earlier, like they both have great mental, so it's not the most surprising thing. Yeah, definitely putting on a show for everyone watching for top eight qualifiers on the loser mm -hmm. side. Yeah, this whole event's been a great time to kind of like really show what our region can do. It, it really is because we have you know, two great competitors here starting off the loser side. Like, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> it just shows like the talent that's already here at the event. Mm-hmm. And I'm, we've had some upsets and pools and everything. Like it, it's been a great showing, and I'm excited to see what the rest of it will look like. Yeah, Dan's definitely making like putting a lot of pressure on uh, that uh, Dorf's Greninja, kind yeah. of bringing it back. He he kind of is, but if Dorf can get some more percent or even close it out with just a nair fair confirm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, closing out that yep. side, only 60%. Yeah, it, but we've seen Dan get some early combos that rack up 60, 70. That was a great that was a, escape from Dorf. That was an interesting <laughs> option coming out of the, uh, the mm -hmm. egg lay. It, it was, but it, it worked to his advantage. Kind of curious to see 
yeah. what's going to happen for the rest of this match. Mm -hmm. If Dan starts a solid combo, he can rack up a lot of percentages. He can and kill. just like that, the platform the coming platform in. Coming oh no. In back guys sorry i was cracking the numbers on how a billion line how a billion lines will 100 percent lose to every pokemon <laughs> listen fisher has a 30 is 30 percent accurate move that's like 100 percent true it's 100 percent one hit ko 30 percent accuracy that means on average one fisher from one pokemon will kill 300 million of those billion lions now every pokemon knows fisher can every Pokemon learn Fisher? There's about 36 non-legendary Pokemon that can learn Fisher. So even if you remove legendaries, that's 36 Fishers. If you do the math like 36 times, you're left with like 1,100 lions. <laughs> that doesn't oh. even count the other 900 that <laughs> don't have Fisher. Oh, hey, there's a game going on. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, anyway, so game five, I'm very interested to see why Dan decided to take the run back, back to Tennessee. City. I guess he felt yeah. confident that, um, that he can't take the game and just had to adapt to the Greninja. Switch. Yeah, yeah, that, that seems like the case, but Dorf, I mean, he was in control pretty much the whole game and had a pretty solid showing, so it, it is kind of interesting to pick a Dan to just run it back here. Yeah, that means that right now it's, it's fairly even. Yeah, you have we, a couple smash attack advantages that Captain Dork does, but mm -hmm. we know Yoshi's combo strains, especially anything vertical, are going to be able to even that percent up once again. The main thing you want to be really cautious about, especially on this stage, is the fact that if you land on that platform, a forward air from Greninja will kill very easily. Yes, and we, we even saw last game where even a forward throw at relatively low kill percent like was able to kill Yoshi, which is pretty heavy mm -hmm. and just like that Dan takes first stock which yeah we see almost every game I think whoever took first stock took the game so that might be an indicator of what happens the rest of this game this is starting to be a sign where you kind of start getting that the idea of impatience from some of the play from Captain Dirk specifically because he felt that Dan was immediately going to call he felt that Dan was immediately going to run down smash as a call out yeah and just because there's so much end lag in that counter he's just going to get immediately punished for that it's one of the things that you got to keep the mentality on I feel like you're gonna down you're gonna attack at this moment especially for counters like that Exactly, and Dorf, Dorf does like to do the uh, counter at ledge when he's recovering mix, to mix people up, but it can become predictable at times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can also see Captain Dorf really wants to take that stock away from Mexican, but he's literally kind of, he's kind of struggling just, to get in there. Yeah, I mean, Dan just holding out those eggs, pushing them away with those nares and the eggs back, pushing them off ledge, basically asserting stage dominance to the point that the percent's already even. Yeah, and Dane's playing a lot slower than he was last game. I think last game he just let the Greninja speed up the pace of the game and it kind of got to him a little bit, but he's making great adaptations. Mm -hmm. One thing that I think that uh, now that the stocks are even, Dorf wants to make sure that he can keep keep the stock as long as he can. He doesn't want to necessarily get caught in one of those backers because you know that's going to kill right there. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe not just yet at center stage, but eventually it is going to kill. And he wants to make sure he can even that up as much as possible before that stock is gone and he's on his tournament stock. Yeah, we don't. That, that's a scary place to be in. Like, I was there in my set, and it was, it was kind of scary. Um, you just got to keep your head, start playing patient. And Dan's. Yeah, Dan's keeping pretty good stage control, keeping Dorf on ledge. Mm -hmm. I feel like Dan's going to get the most drive, especially on this town part. While while we can see some nice up air strains coming from Captain Dorf, Dan that is able to... That double jump armor. <laughs> that double jump armor is going to save Dan from a lot of those interactions. In addition to uh, the idea of those side platforms on the city portion of town and city aren't going to uh, cause forward to be that much of a big threat um, like, it, like it is... Uh, on the other end and we're gonna see that third hit of backer connect 
Captain Dorf on his last stock. Let's see if he can do something or if Dan can just clutch it out right here. Dan right now needs to make Racking sure he can damage. continue. <laughs> Dan needs to make sure right now he can continue this percent lead. You can see that he's trying to force him onto that platform so he can finish off with a back air extremely early, but is not able to succeed in that. Mm -hmm. Now he's kind of backing off, just kind of waiting for Dorf to approach. He understands the strong lead that he has right now. Yep, and that counter. Sucks. Not going to kill okay, just yet. Dan's able to make it back. Ooh. Up air's not going to connect. This is where Dan's going to try to look for killing, but that he's going to live a little bit longer thanks to double jump armor. These up airs are missing a little bit. They are, but he's still racking up that damage. Now Dorf on <clears throat> even... Uh, evening the stocks this up. This is the tournament see. stock for both players. Yep. If Dan makes a slight mistake, it could literally end the mm -hmm. run for him. It's actually for such a high seed that he is, being upset by dopamine and pools. Uh, you definitely don't want to see a fan favorite go out this early in the tournament. Yeah. Good thing about both these guys is they're both fan favorites. So, <laughs> so true. <laughs> uh, it's going to suck either way. Uh, they've both been showing very well in tournaments recently. Um, so it's a both these players, <laughs> literally, both these players this week have beaten Ben. Yes. <laughs> Number one state PR, both have been beaten, and they're both starting off a loser side. It's interesting to see. Yeah, we're going to see right there, that back air is finally going to connect. Maxidan moving on to top eight, Good winning 3-2 over Captain Dork. <laughs>